Hello friends, today we are going to see some python programming tips. So learning outcome for this session is students will be able to read the input from the user in various formats for the further processing. Uh, actually the, we are, uh, when we are programming or when we are practicing some pra programming language, we do require some snippets that should be available at our tip or hand that should be the ready one ok. So, here first thing is that how to read input then use the split and map function to separate the inputs, uh, separate the digits characters in special form or concatenate the list, find the occurrences of the characters, create the group of the characters. So, these are some of the things which will require recurrently or repeatedly. So, if we understand these things very well we can easily use it. So, today we are going to see how to read the input from the user in various format. So, first which is the function that we should use? So, python is a uh, sorry input is a function in python programming which will take the user input or the from the command prompt. So, here there are the different ways first we have to understand that input function returns the value in the string format. So, whatever may be the format we have to convert it as per the requirement of our function. So, may be the number, may be the string, may be the list or matrix or some other form. So, here first input is the directly function which will give you the input 1 as in string. Second enter the number is a prompt which we are telling the user. So, without any uh, as a string and then user will input the number and that will be converted into the integer format. Third thing is that we want a float format for example, then it will be converted into the float. So, whatever the string that has been written, it should be compatible. For example, here input number and if I enter a, b, c and if I will trying to convert it into the integer or float, it will give me error. So, we have to check what is the input that is expected. Next thing is that whenever we are going for the user input, we should require some uh, functions that is the standard functions to keep your input in a proper format. So, first is the strip function. So, what this strip function does? It removes the uh, uh, white spaces or unnecessary uh, characters that we do not require which user has been entered that we can remove using strip. So, it re returns a string in which all the characters has been stripped from the both end that is beginning and end. So, let us understand this first with some spaces dots this is an example for stripping and if we we'll use strip. So, we have not passed anything means by default it is removing white space characters. So, this characters will be removed. In the second example here dot dot strip dot it means that whatever the dots that are present at both the side it will be removed. So, let us look at this output here in the first this white spaces which are at the beginning are removed. In the second we want to strip dots so which has been removed from the beginning and end ok. Now, let us pause the video and check if I am passing this dot comma h l o what will be the output after stripping this. Whatever the characters that we will pass in this string that will be stripped from both the end. So, let us look at this comma is it present at the start first? No. Dot is it present at the start? No. H h is present? No. L l is present. So, after removing this l what remains here? Dot. So, dot will be again stripped. So, in this way all the characters will be applied till these characters are not present at the beginning and end. Let us look at the output. So, output will be this exclamation comma hello world. So, this dot and l has been removed from the end. This is how strip function works. So, first get the input and try to use strip function if required. Then it is the case that no, many times we want multiple output or multiple inputs. It is not a single number or a single string and so on. So, that input can be separated by spaces, can be separated by commas. Generally, these are the two separators which are used, but you can have any separator. So, we have to use the split function. So, split function will separate out this uh, input. So, by default again it is uh, space will be considered as a separator. But if you want you can use comma dot and so on as per the input given to you. So, one function is split. Second function is map. Map is a function which will uh, take two inputs one is a function that you want to apply and second one is iterable. For example, we have separated the spaces. So, it will create many chunks. So, I want to create its list or any iterable of that 
then we can use this map function. So, here the function that I have used is integer, it means that whatever we will read that we will be in string that will be converted into the integer and then a list will be created from this input. This is how it works that split and map. Again, we want uh, not only the string uh, list, we want to create dictionary, we want to create set and so on. So, from the string, we should be able to create list, dictionary and set. So, this is how we can use the list comprehension. So, input dot split, so whatever I will be entering will be separated by this and then it will be creating the list. Sometimes, now if in the first, it will create the list of strings because we are going to have the input in string format. In the second, I want to convert every character to the integer because I want to do the further processing on numeric. So, it has been used integer. Third, in the third example, split comma. So, input is separated by comma. So, here comma has been mentioned. After that, it is going to be uh, converted into its queue. Okay? So, whatever the number 1, 2, 3, 4 I have entered. So, it will be converted into its cube and so on. Third, in the next example, it is is even is a function which will take uh, which will check whether the number is even or not. So, whatever the functionality I want I can use it and then I can create a list or any iterable from the input. This is how we should work. We all can also create a dictionary from the given things. So, for example, input dot split and create dictionary. So, i is nothing but the value that we have taken from the input and one is associated. Uh, sorry, I will be the key and one will be the associated value. So, this is a default dictionary has been created and then this is going to be created as a set. So, what type of input that we are getting as a string, how to convert it into the list, dictionary or set and so on that we have to see. Next, it can be the possibility that here multiple uh, lines can be there only up till now we have seen only a single line input. So, for example, two lines input is there. On the first line, we are entering how many uh, values are there. In the second line, I am creating its list of list like that. So, for example, I want to take a matrix. So, this can be help me in two limbs. Uh, so, first input will give you the number, second input will give you the value. So, this is how we have converted. Let us see it with hands on uh, so that you will understand more. So, let us shift it to spider. So, here I am using spider. So, let us look at this. So, first is going to be the input. Let me clear everything over here. So, this is the variable explorer and here let me clear all first. So, this is the first how I can read. So, if I will read input, I will go line by line. So, I will integer hello. So, this is if you can see this is the string okay. and if I will try to print it using for loop, you can see h e l l o, it is a character that has been printed. Okay. So, for example, again I will create input and I will enter here random number something like that and then again if I will go for printing, it will be treated as a string and this will be the characters. Okay. Now, if I want a number, so again I will go for input, enter the number. Uh, here I will enter 1, 2, 3, 4. You can check it here for input, it has been converted into the integer because I have used here integer as a function for converting it. But if you will not use it, for example, if I will uh, run it again integer and I will enter 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see that it is a string which I need to convert it into the integer. So, whenever my num input is number which I have taken from the user, initially it will be the string, but you can convert it into the integer. And now our input is integer and let us look at this. What will happen if I try to print it like this? It will give me error because int now we have converted into the integer. So, it has convert uh, become number. So, I cannot treat it as a string. So, understand that whether you want a string format or whether you want a integer format. Next thing I can convert it into the float value. So, here 12.5. So, this is going to be called as a float. 
if I will just enter integer, so let us again input and if I will enter 12.5, now look at this is a string and if I will go for length of this INP1, it will show me 4 because 1, 2, dot and 5, this is a string. Whereas, if I will go for this I input 3, this data type is float, okay. this is how we should work. Now, let us look at the strip function. So, this is what we have seen in the PPT also. So, this is my string, I want to remove, when I will use strip, this is remove spaces. Now, let us go for this second example, this is again going to be strip dot. So, this is the example it has been. So, there is a space before that which has not been stripped. Next example, remove the dots, it will remove the dots again. Now, this is what we have seen. So, this is H, L, O and col, uh, comma. So, this is going to be print, it will. So, if I will add here again exclamation, let us see what happens. So, it will remove H also now, look at this because exclamation has been removed, comma has been removed and H has been removed and remaining string. So, what you want to strip that set you have to pass here. Again let us look at the one more example, it will print hello world. Okay. So, this is how this it split method works. So, split by default space, but you can specify this commas also. So, let now, whatever we are entering, suppose this is a split, uh, yeah. So, here I am entering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, let us look at this is a list, and if we we'll print uh, input, it will print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a list, okay. But if you see the length of this input, it is 5 ok, uh, no, no, no. yeah this is going to be input which has been splitted and then we have converted into the list actually, but if I will use this before this split it will not it will be considered as in commas also. So, let us look at the second example now sometimes we will enter an input separated by commas. 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 okay now this has been converted to the list having the elements okay so this is how we can use now this is input i will use it again 1 2 3 4 5 check at this input and check the length of the input so this is again input 1 no 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 input 1 So, this is 9 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4 commas that are also included this is going to be a string. Now, let us you can split a strip anything now I do not have any that but let me again input with that. Suppose I have entered like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it is not a list remember that when I am inputting it is input it is a string only. So, what I have to do is that I have to strip first is brackets. So, this brackets will be stripped. So, input 1 has become only 1, 2, 3, 5 and now you have to use this split. So, it will create a list. This is how we should handle this. So, next part we will see in the next lecture.